the... <laughs> now back to Heathcliff. We'll be ready to leave on our vacation soon, Heathcliff. I'm packing your suitcase now. I hope she packed enough cans of sardines. It's gonna be a long weekend. Hey, I may not know art, but I know what I like. Yeah, hey, watch this, boys. I'm gonna make sure Spike don't forget me while I'm on my vacation. Here comes Heathcliff! Yeah! Hi there, art lover. Heathcliff! Where'd he go? Oh, I'm just about out of breath. I'm only human, you know. <laughs> Chasing Spike used to be a lot easier. Hey, Cliff! Here, yeah, boy. Looks kinda suspicious to me. Go sleepy by. You can't do this to me, Spike. It's embarrassing. I'm too worn out to move. You're losing your touch, Heathcliff. <laughs> uh, why'd Heathcliff let Spike do that to him? Heathcliff just don't have it no more. I guess I need a vacation worse than I thought. Yeah, maybe the fresh air will throw me good. Heathcliff! What happened to you, Heathcliff? It looks as if you need a vacation as much as the rest of us. Oh, this is the life. There's nothing like fresh country air to improve one's appetite for sardines. Ow! Feathers and sardine oil don't mix. <laughs> you look like some kind of strange bird. I ain't never seen a bird with so much meat on them. <laughs> now there's a real bird. Yum, yum. Right. My baby! Uh, now, wait a minute. Who was catching who? Look! That eagle's got a heat cliff. A fat bird like that won't get away from me so easy! What a view from up here! Thanks for the ride. Where are we? You're home again, baby. Now don't fall out of the nest anymore, and Mama will bring you a nice snack. If eagles eat worms, eh, this won't be much of a vacation. I gotta get out of here. Now, well, which way to the campsite? Hey, Leo, do you know where I could find the nutmeg campsite? No! Oh! <laughs> yeah, I understand your mistake, Leo, with all these feathers. But I'm a cat, just like you. No! Oh! Well, I'd love to stay and chat, but uh, I really gotta go. My baby! Take that, you brute! Give it to 
a mom. Big bad lion make you molt early. I don't have feathers now because I'm a cat. Get it? A cat. Sure you are, dear. Now you play nice while Mama gets you something to eat. And try not to fall out of the nest again. She's nice, but she got bird seed for brains. <laughs> well, what is it? Leo, it don't make sense for a country cat to fight a city cat. Uh, we ought to be pals, uh, buddies. Well? You ought to take better care of your teeth, Leo. When's the last time you saw a dentist? <laughs> hey, this is hard work. I gotta stop and use my brain. I wonder how can I get Leo and Mom to take care of each other? What do Leo and Mom have in common? Hmm, hey, me. That's what, yeah, uh, let's see. Uh, the square root of the hypotenuse is equal to... Hey, here comes one of the featured players now. <laughs> yeah, buddy, buddy. Yeah, buddy. That doofus is making it too easy for me. All you gotta do is use your brains, which I have a lot of. Uh, would you hold this for a second? Sucker! Uh-oh! Yeah! Oh no! <laughs> no! Wait! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Here she comes now, right on schedule. What is that lion doing with my tree? Coming, baby! That was a close one. Not again! You brute! You can't deny chopping down my tree with that axe still in your hand. And what have you done with my baby? And where's my nest? If you can't outrun them, you can always outsmart them. Strategy. Yeah, that's the answer. Now to get back to the nutmeg campsite so that I can relax at last. If I'd have had time to think about this before, I'd have noticed that I can use more strategy at home, too. Oh, I can't wait to try it out. Uh, hey, we better go. Here comes Heathcliff. Uh, I ain't afraid of Heathcliff no more. Don't you remember what he was like before he left? Hiya, boys. You know I don't like you sitting on my steps. Low is the tone of the neighborhood. Yeah, we know. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the way it is, eh? In that case, I'd like to show you some strategy I learned on my vacation. Come on. Uh, what strategy? Don't fry your brains thinking about it. Let's see what the orange ball of fur has to show us. Watch very carefully now, boys. Here comes Heathcliff! Yo! What do you know? Three artistic type cats. Voila! The dog chases the cats and all's well with the world. Nothing like a vacation to brighten your outlook on life. <laughs> Wait right there. I gotta take a break from all this. I've been waiting for you. Let's go.
come on. I know you guys are hiding in there. Yeah. Harry, we were all sleeping. Take your nap later. I got Cleo coming over in ten minutes, and I want this place ship shape. I got an important question to ask my girl, and I want this place shining. Right on time, fair maiden. Your lunch awaits within. Wow. What's the big deal, Riff Raff? All this attention? All cleaned up around here? I hardly recognize the place. All for you, my queen. What gives? This is too much. Well, what it is, Cleo, is that I want you to be my steady girl. Well, I don't know, Riff Raff. I like my freedom. I know, but I need to know you'll be true to me. Well, that means no other girls for you, too. You got it. Scout's honor. Okay, you sweet-talking rascal. Steady it is. <laughs> Yahoo! I'm the happiest cat in town. I've really got to run. I'll see you later. <laughs> Steady, boyfriend. I feel real good now that I made my commitment to Cleo. Hey, Rip, you gonna see the new girl in the neighborhood? She just moved in and, uh... She's neat and sweet and she's got the beat. Right down to her pretty feet. She's wowie sowie. Not for me, guys. I am spoken for. I am now going steady with Cleo. Anybody home? <laughs> On the other hand, what Cleo doesn't know won't hurt her. Hello there. I'm Roxy, and I'm new in the neighborhood. I'm Riff Raff, the local welcome wagon. Come in and uh, stay for a week or two. Now, come with me to the Casper. Can you believe that? Right after we asked Cleo to go steady. Riff Raff is a real bad cat. So make yourself at home. I'll find you something to eat. I hope. Great. I'm starving. <coughs> Hungry, of course. I was just sending my associates out to uh, catch dinner. Won't you join me for an evening in paradise? How could I turn down such an offer? That is, unless you were expecting another date. Uh, yeah. What about... Uh, great idea. More food, fellas. I'll make it worth your while. Now scram, and don't spare the horses. <laughs> so, let's get acquainted. Slow down, Romeo. First, we eat. All right. The guys should be back soon. May as well split up and get this over with. I'll get the milk. I'll get the fish. A great big dish. I'll get Roxy. Better get dessert, Mongo. That's funny. I thought I'd be seeing my steady riffraff tonight. Hey, come back! Give me my milk pack! Stop, you creep! Hmm. Looks like riffraff has the troops out gathering the goods. Hey, you thief! I'll get you anyway. Bring those back here. Wordsworth has enough fish to feed an army. Hmm, this is too much. I've got to check out what's going on with my steady. Mongo, my sweet, what a nice surprise. Did Riff Raff send you over with these treats for me? Ah, uh, gee, no, Cleo. These are for Roxy and Riff Raff's dinner. I'm supposed to keep it quiet. Roxy, eh? And, uh, just who is Roxy? A sick relative? Ah, a bit of milk before the main course, my pet. Serve, Hector. This is humiliating. What's that? Uh, I said it's getting late. Can I go now? Surely you just. We've barely begun our sumptuous supper. Here's a tip. I've had it with Rip Rap. We're suckers to wait on him and that Roxy. 
Yeah, Riff Raff's back. We've been had and it's making me mad. Uh, I think Riff Raff loves you, Wordsworth. It's Cleo! Shh. Can you believe the guy ain't nice? He's sending it back! Wants more spice! Oh, hi, Clint! Shh! So, he wants a little more spice, does he? How about a little pepper? There, that should spice up his meal. Yow! Water! Water! Want water. This white vinegar looks like water. Glint, give me water. <laughs> vinegar. Oh, what kind of gag is this? Here, Mungo, for the next course with Tabasco sauce. Mmm, good. <laughs> Is with this food. I can take a joke as well as anyone, lover boy. But this menu is not funny. Listen, baby, I don't know what gives, but don't leave. The night is young. Well, I don't know. Maybe this is the way you treat all the girls. But I don't have a lot of girls. There's only you. How about a little catnip to get us back in the mood? Catnip! They want catnip? We'll give them catnip. <laughs> uh, hello, young lovers. Here's your catnip. Enjoy. in here and break up me and my new boyfriend. Correction, my old boyfriend and former steady. Ouch! This is a private fight. Wait outside, boys. Wait a minute. You mean Riff Raff is two-timing you? Yeah. Now put up your dukes. I'll drop you like a bad habit. Hold it, honey. I'm not the enemy. I never knew. You mean, Riff Raff never told you? Never. Honest. I'll take your word for it. And he'll pay for this. No more steady. Same goes for me. I got a great idea. Wow, they're fighting over me. I'm flattered. <laughs> Listen, girls, no need to fight over me. You're right, Riff Raff, darling. Right. Anyone can make a stupid mistake. Ah! Ow! Hey, where are you two going? Wouldn't you like to know? All right, let's go. Fun and dandy like sugar candy. We're always handy. Let's go eat! Girls, who can figure up? Don't go away! I may need your help! Back to Heathcliff and me, Riff Raff! You know, when cats look like they're fighting, sometimes they're just playing with each other. If you have two cats who fight, 
you shouldn't punish the winner. Most of the times, they're just trying to establish who's the boss. I'm winning! I'm winning! I guess they'll have to learn who really is boss. Yeah.